Coming up on 716. I'm kind of surprised at this radar this morning. I didn't realize, you know, it was a kind of a pretty morning at 6 o'clock. Oh, oh I, yeah. I got to tell you, uh, the sunrise this morning was astounding. It was. I tried to capture it on my on my telephone uh-huh. camera. <laughs> <laughs> everything's made worse i think on the telephone <laughs> but uh, I, I, I couldn't capture the beauty of it but i was i was thinking about that during this young man's prayer this morning you know just how beautiful it was and it was just a gorgeous morning and then you i come in here and you say it's raining someplace <laughs> yeah, I thought, I looked at the, you know when i first opened the radar i refreshed it because I thought, wait a minute isn't that yesterday's mm-hmm. radar but mm-hmm. my goodness let me tell you a quick story it was in uh in uh, murfreesboro tennessee area uh-huh. uh, a week ago Great time over there. We went to a farm over there. The, my son and daughter-in-law had a little uh, uh, church activity there with people their age. Had a bonfire area, but this was the, one of the most beautiful farms I've seen. Mm-hmm. You know, just long rolling hills. And right. Had this bonfire area, and then down the hill was the barn. Well, a bunch of them were going down to play this game. They said, "Come on, we're going to do blah blah blah." I said, "I'm going to sit right here." They had a nice little bonfire, but it was about. 61, 62 degrees. So oh. it was just perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's you know, that right. cool, crisp air and the <laughs> bonfire. To die and for. I was facing west and mm-hmm. can, and watched the sun go down over the horizon. I took a picture of that one. <laughs> did you get a good shot? Yes, I did. Well, good. Yeah, I, I, every now and then we'll get a really good we'll get a really I good one. I get lucky occasionally like that with a picture. I had one of those like phones like you've got right there. It has a rotary dial, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> But you can take a picture with it. Uh, yeah. I had an old one like that, too. And, and I actually got a few good shots. I, I, I figured out how to get it to my computer. I use it as a screensaver. Yeah. But uh, How's that yeah. for a picture right there? You can see the barn in the background. Oh, see? my goodness gracious. That is a beautiful shot. That's that's a thousand-piece puzzle right there. Uh-huh. uh-huh. <laughs> so, well, Jack Clayton. Good, good morning, Dale. Good to it's good you. to see you again. Yeah, thanks for the bread. We've got... Uh, <clears throat> Neighbors Mill brought bread. in some Neighbors Mill pumpkin swirl this morning, and and uh, I, I I know you appreciate it, and I the the Neighbors Mill bread that we have at uh, Nature's Way has become quite a fixture here in town. So you know, down on the corner, listeners are reminded it's fresh Thursday mornings. Come on in and get it, <laughs> and uh, we'll have it ready for you. And and uh, as far as Neighbors Mill is concerned, we can we can also special order. Uh, you know, if you have a special need, sure. we had somebody who needed 10 loaves of something for a project they had, and we'll get all that together for you. So anyway, enjoy that. And I'll have some more things for you a little bit later, too. So, Oh, wow. Mm. I got to tell you another quick story. My daughter-in-law was here back at Christmas, of course, and I said, well, you got to check out Nature's Way because she loves the health food. Right. Everything. Uh-huh. Oh, my goodness. I just went through every. We were in there for an hour, hour and 15 minutes. I go over there, 16, 17, 18, 19 of April. Right. The first question. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been at Nature's Way in a while? Yeah, I had to get some allergy meds. <laughs> she says, I need to come back to that store. I said, well, tell me what you need and I'll buy it and send it to you. <laughs> yes, actually, we, and we can do that too. Sure. <laughs> we'll be happy to do that for her. Well, I'm, I'm thrilled she enjoyed it. We get, we, we hear that, especially from people that come into town. You know, we get a lot of tourist trade and, and, uh, uh, people coming into town and 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 they enjoy being down on the square with the commercial in the commercial historic district historic commercial district. I always say that backwards, and uh, seeing the old stores and what we've done with it. But you'll really appreciate what's happened just this last weekend. Nature's Way has is redesigning and and reset the grocery side of the store. You need to come in and see this. I need to be done. You know, I need to be done. <clears throat> the uh, oh my goodness. Is this new on the picture on the website? The uh, yes, the websites. I don't know what you're looking at there, but the the websites. The website's also new, and and we've laid out some new things there as well. But here's the th- here's the thing. Um, we uh, Kevin Peeper from the mm-hmm. Baxter Bulletin, Bulletin yeah. uh-huh, the award winning photographer there, had agreed to let us use some of his photography on our wall and we have it's it's gorgeous you just have oh to see my it goodness, he, yeah. he he really helped us a lot with it Ruth Ann is an artist herself and she has a great eye and a, and a sense of color and perspective and 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 it, you just have to come in and see this I mean we've got I guess it's I want to say eight of his pictures up there I'm, I, I can't remember the exact number and some some of this art has never been seen before you know Kevin mm. has a book out of course that uh, has been very popular here in this area but you just need to come in and see this and, and what we've done with the layout of the store and how we've reset it. It's really, really pretty. 
And so I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about that uh, a bit later. We've got some other neat things that are going on I wanted to tell you about, too. Okay. <clears throat> Mike's all yours. I am really excited about this, what I'm about to tell you now. Um, we are going to have in the store, uh, starting on May 5th, we will have fresh Peace Valley chickens. Not frozen ones, but fresh ones. Peace Valley is a family farm in Missouri that a lot of the Down on the Corner listeners will remember and know because they have driven to Missouri to get these chickens. But because of interstate commerce and some laws with the USDA, he couldn't sell them fresh in Arkansas unless you bring them across the border and you have to find a USDA slaughterhouse here. And Mm -hmm. it's, I don't know, it's something to do between the states. It's funny how that state line affects things. Yeah, I know it is. Anyway, uh, but that's all been arranged, and uh, he called us up and said, uh, would we be interested in carrying this? And I said, absolutely. So starting on May 5th, we will have fresh, fresh um, Peace Valley chickens, whole fryers. And this is something like you've never experienced if you've never had one of these birds. You need to get in there starting on, on the 5th and and get one of these. Let's see what is that a Wednesday? <clears throat> it's a Tuesday, I think. Tuesday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They'll that's have, next Tuesday. That's that's right. He's coming in next week. And the thing is, it's these are totally free range, antibiotic free, hormone free chickens. The way chicken has been forever, when it's handled correctly and grown correctly and treated correctly and fed correctly. Uh, you just you have to come in. You have to get one of these things. I mean, I, there probably aren't good enough words to describe how tasty these birds are. Really? Now, we've had them for a couple of years frozen. I mean, he was able to bring them into the state frozen. Now, that's one of the interesting things about the rules is, is that you can transport them frozen, but you can't transport them fresh once they've been slaughtered across the state line. It's, it's some odd thing with the law. But at any rate... Uh, the those uh, the frozen ones are are just astounding. You know, we Ruth Ann and I would get one every now and then, and and it's it's an absolute treat. So for the folks who have known Peace Valley and have had to go to Missouri to get them, they used to kind of arrange to meet people at the state line and and things like that. Please be advised that Nature's Way will have these birds fresh, starting on May fifth, and it will be a first come first serve thing. Uh, we will sell out. I promise. So if you would like to try one of these, you need to get in there and, and on May 5th and try it. Um, the, the, um, the birds, you kind of have to ex- experience his farm to understand this. But, you know, chickens have changed so much over the years. I just read a statistic uh, recently that said in 19, if this were 1975, uh, the average chicken out of the production farms, and I'm talking about those big hen houses that you mm-hmm. see across the top part of the state. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the average chicken would weigh about four pounds, three and a half to four pounds coming out of one of those uh, production facilities. Now they weigh nine. Hmm. Now, how does that happen? Well, it's something in the processing of the feed that they that they pump into these chickens. They can't even stand up. You know, they're so heavy, they just fall over. That's because of our demand for uh, big, heavy pieces of, of white meat and breast meat from these chickens, and they get... They, they've figured out ways to mm-hmm. inject them with things that make them big and heavy. Well, uh, that, what that does is that satisfies our, our need for chicken at a, you know, as, as a reasonably priced as it can be. But what it also has done is it has changed the nature of the, of the meat. And when you try one of these Peace Valley chickens, the way a chicken ought to be, and this would be about four-pound chickens, when you try one of these, the way it ought to be, that's the way a chicken was, well, what's that, 30 years ago now, 40 years ago, <laughs> when you were a kid and, uh, and, and you experience this, you will, you'll see the difference. You'll be able to taste the difference. You'll be able to tell the difference when it's cooking. Really? You'll, it'll, it'll smell differently. Because I love chicken. And, well, we all do. And that's, that's what's led us to this thing where we have these, this, this nature changing in the, in the nature of the, of the animal itself. But the truth is, I will tell you that if you don't like this chicken, you can just come in 
and slap my wrist and call me Louie. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, honestly, it but, uh, is, you know what you it, it, it is it is it is astoundingly. You've got a different. natural chicken here, though. I remember my grandparents used to tell stories. You know, when they first got married in 1933, mm-hmm. you know, and they had the farm as well. On Sunday morning, first thing you do is go out and get a couple of chickens, ring the necks, pluck right. them, cut them. You know, that was Sunday dinner. <clears throat> Well, sure. You can't get much fresher than that. You no, know? that's true. These, these, uh, these. This is very much the way that this is going to be with these birds. They'll be slaughtered like Monday and delivered on Tuesday. When you said Peace Valley, is that is that farm up just north of West Plains? Yes, mm-hmm. that's beautiful Motiva country family. up there. And it is. It's it's beautiful country. They and this family is dedicated to uh, natural growing, uh, organic farming, mm-hmm. healthy animals treating the animals and the birds the way that uh, God meant us to handle this sort of thing. Uh, they are just a wonderful group of people and very, very hardworking family. Uh, yeah. And the, when you go up to Peace Valley, Missouri, it's just you go east of West Plains, north on 17, and mm-hmm. it's to the east of that highway. I love going through there. And we had. And those farms are beautiful. Oh, there. sure. And, and, and there were folks from out home that were driving all the way up there to get these chickens. In the past, you know, yeah. because it, it was a local, it was a local thing, and and people, some a few people knew about it, and they'd go up there and get them because they were so good. But I highly encourage you stop by Nature's Way starting on on Tuesday, May fifth, one week from today, one week from today, and try a Peace Valley chicken. You'll be glad you did. Mm, that, that, that's just I got to put that on my calendar. Yeah, I, I, and and I trust me, they'll sell out. They will sell out very. very hey, why don't quickly. we go ahead and take the news break? Sure. That way, we'll give us plenty of time to talk about the other. Okay. Visiting with Jack Clayton and Nature's Way. Hey, follow along on the website, naturewaymountainhome.com. And I want to give an appeal out, uh, not just to mountain home folks, but if you're listening to it this morning, perhaps you're not down near Batesville, Mountain View, Melbourne, uh, come on up to Nature's Way sometime. You'll not be dis- disappointed. My daughter-in-law, Murfreesboro, Tennessee, asks about it all the time. She's ready to come <laughs> back to Nature's Way just all the way from Tennessee. But we're going to take the news break real quick so we give Jack plenty of time in the second half of the show. Be right back. Seven thirty-five. We're at Jack Clayton Nature's Way, the health food store on the square. New website, very impressive. Nature's Way Mountain Home dot com. Go to the Nature's Way Mountain Home dot com, and you'll find some neat things about the store. Uh, also, sign up on our newsletter at you can what you can do right off the website, and uh, you'll uh, be able to keep up with the events that are happening in the store, and and you'll get some discount coupons as well. Uh, you'll know the sales that are taking place, and it's just a good way to save some money and. I encourage you to sign up. It's real easy. You just go to the website and punch the button. You'll be right in. And, of course, Ruth Ann Clayton is a registered dietitian. you got the Dietitian's Corner, and mm-hmm. uh, that art, that still appears in the paper, doesn't it? Yes, it's in today's, in is fact. Is it in today's? Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, Ruth Ann writes, a, writes an article for the bulletin every month. It's in uh, it's in today's paper. She's talking about B12. And uh, she will she picks a different topic. She works really hard on those. Uh, trust me, I know. I'm there. <laughs> but with what I've seen with... With Ruth Ann Clayton, she's very dedicated to her work. She's passionate about it, yeah. and and she's constantly studying. Never quits. Never quits uh, looking at material. Never quits uh, understanding the new science. She's she helps us a great deal and does uh, almost all of the in service training uh, at Nature's Way for our specialty staff. As you know, when you come into Nature's Way, one of the things we like to pride ourselves on is our ability to to uh, answer questions and to talk to people. And I think that in a lot of retail shops, that's getting to be something of a lost art where you really, we really are interested in trying to find out if what we're talking about with a particular customer is the right thing to do. And we have several philosophies about that. One is that questions are welcome and the answers are free. And we encourage people to come in to Nature's Way right down on the square across from the courthouse and ask their questions. You know, in this market, what will happen is people will get inundated with material. And particularly because we have a market of a lot of folks who are retired. And so all you have to do is ask one question on the Internet or, or respond to something that you get in the mail. And pretty soon you're on every mailing list in the country. And you know that's the case. And you start getting things in the mail. You see something uh, published somewhere that really sounds like a, uh, some sort of miracle. 
product or whatever, we encourage people to uh, to bring that data into the store and let us talk about it with them. You know, in some cases, it's not the right thing to do. And we're not afraid to say that. Uh, there are, we work very hard. Ruthann and Duncan are just back from the trade show in California. We go out there every year. And uh, they brought in new products for us, which I'll talk about in just a second. But what we work very hard on at Nature's Way is trying to make sure that we have the information behind all of those things before we buy them. And then when folks come in, we can say, we can talk about things like, uh, where is this in relationship to what you're doing with your doctor, for example? Because we have the deepest respect for the medical profession and what they're doing. And the last thing we want to do is have somebody make a mistake with something over the counter. So we talk about those things. And we're, we're, we're very conservative and very cautious with, with our approach. On the other hand, we also ha are anxious to give answer answers because we have them. And that's what we do at Nature's Way. So we do it very well. We're uh, we're happy to have the opportunity to talk to folks, and and we enjoy those conversations. Ruth Ann takes great pride in in the in service in services. Well, the in services is a form of training. It's a word for training, <laughs> and uh, the training that she does, and uh, and keeping our staff fully informed so that we can do just that for our customers. We like to engage with people. We like to. Uh, get to know our customers. We like to have them ask questions and rely on us. And we work very, very hard in making sure that everything we say is truthful and that folks can trust the answers that they get from Nature's Way. So come on in because questions are welcome and the answers are free. And uh, we work very hard to, to, uh, to, to keep a very uh, upfront, mm -hmm. trusting relationship with all of our customers. Having said that, I brought you some strawberries. Does Ooh. mom like strawberries? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, uh, I met your mother the other day, and, and uh, I, I thought about her this morning. These just came in yesterday. They're they're some beautiful Driscolls. Take those home and have some fun with them. Uh, one of the uh, Nature's Way only sells certified organic produce. And strawberries and uh, peaches and some other of the soft skin fruits are the ones that are uh, on the list of things that are most pesticide laden. So, because this because it absorbs into the actual fruit yeah. itself, uh, because of the, the soft skins of them. So, Nature's Way only sells certified organic produce, and we get some beautiful produce in there. Always very reasonably priced, but the advantage of the certified organic is it takes the uh, all of the pesticides and all of the spraying and all of the things that we do, including genetically modified seeds, out of the equation. So you have pure food the way it was meant to be and the way it has been for thousands of years. Certified organic produce at Nature's Way. You try those strawberries and you tell me if you don't like them. Once again, if, if you don't like those, you can come in and slap my, <laughs> slap my wrist and call me Louie. Uh, I've got another treat for you here. I know you like this. Oh, and, I think I see what it is. And I brought you oh, some I love apples. Your apples. These are certified organic apples. Just came in fresh. Those are for you. And some almond butter this time. Oh, to wow. To try. And the reason I brought almond butter specifically is we grind this in the store. It's fresh almond butter. No salt, no sugar. And the... Mm, mm. You're, eating your, you're eating your mother's strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are so good. Mom. <laughs> uh, but uh, we also, we have, uh, it's, it's salt-free and it's sugar-free. It's just roasted almonds. We grind it right in the store so it's fresh. You can even grind it yourself. We'll teach you how. You can bring in your own container, and you can grind up your own nut butters. We have uh, also have uh, salt-free and sugar-free peanut butter uh, in the store, and I know you like that too. But I brought you some almond butter this time because if you try the almond butter on the apples, it's really, really, oh, really good. Oh, yeah. And, uh, Very You good. get the sweetness of the apple coming across, and, and, uh, and the almond butter is just, just, it's just right with it. So you got quite a little feast here sitting on your table. What do you do tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so you got an opening tomorrow too, don't you? <laughs> and Thursday and Friday. <laughs> um, as I mentioned, uh, Ruth Ann and, and Duncan just got back from the uh, the trade show. We picked up some new lines and new products, and the, the, they work. There, I, I can't remember how many people she said were out there. It was, but it was in the five figures. It was. 
forty or fifty thousand something. It was just a massive, massive really? number of people that went out there, and um, uh, we picked up some new lines. Uh, one company called Jaro J A R R O W uh, is a new line that we picked up. It's a it's a been a line that's uh, we've watched carefully over the years. They bring out some really interesting quality products. Uh, this this one, for example, I brought is called Delimonene, which is called which is from orange peel. It's used for your stomach, yeah. And uh, it's a way of uh, it's a way of working with uh, a, a, the, the acidic feeling stomachs and yeah. and and so on uh, that some people have. It's a it's a very unique and special product. This is the first company that's brought it out in a in a way that was uh, we thought was priced correctly that. Uh, would would provide the kind of service that our customers would want from such a thing. What but this is just one of the things, that, uh, one of the many things that they have. What's that? Uh, it's the old term was heartburn, but now what are they? Using? GERD, huh? GERD, GERD, acid reflux. Acid reflux. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the way to go, right there. But it's one of the ways to go, absolutely. Uh, and like I was talking about a minute ago, when you come in, let's take this. Just take digestive issues, for example, yeah. something we talk about a great deal. Um. When you come in, we sort through this to determine exactly which what directions are available for customers to choose from. And delimiting, which is a very specific product, might be right for people in some cases. Um, and then, but there's but there's lots of other choices, and that's why Nature's Way carries a, a large spectrum of products from a number of different companies. We've got, gosh, we must have uh, nine thousand SKUs in there of different types of products and what what we're approaching what i'm trying to say is that when you come in what we'll do is, is we'll work through those things so that you'll have choices as a customer to decide which direction is the right thing to do and in conjunction with what you're doing medically if anything and then you know we can gu- guide and steer based on what uh you tell us so uh we're pleased when we pick up new lines the, of things that we kind of have researched the uh, industry is always coming out with new products. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're great products. Uh, Ruth Ann and Duncan did a very, very good job of, of picking up a couple of new things. I, I wanted to show you this one, too. I, I thought this was the coolest thing. This is called the EZC, e, like the letters E, Z, and C, EZC pack. Um, and this is a five-day attack on a cold. Hmm. Uh, and those kind of those kind of. Uh, uh, feelings. It's it's something that you can, you, you as, soon, as soon as you start feeling that way, you take this and you have a chance of really knocking down a cold. As you know, once you get three or four days into a cold, you've got it for two weeks and that's going to be that. I mean, yeah. you, you, not a lot you can do about it. But if you get to nature's way early in a situation like that, and we talk about a product like this Easy CPAC, which is developed by a group of doctors, uh, and uh, she, Ruth Ann met with some of those uh, scientists and they explained what they were doing with this particular product and why this was different. Uh, I think you've got a really good chance of, of beating it to back very, very quickly. Uh, so easy CPAC, another new product at nature's way. And there's, and there's several, several others, you know, we could, we could talk all day about them or at least I could. <laughs> and, uh, you'll find, uh, you'll find answers to questions when you come into nature's way in that way. What I like about what you're showing me is this is a, a natural way to better health correct without what i consider the foreign chemicals in the prescription meds exactly right we are focused on only that that is how can we do things in a way that uh, treat the body with respect you know a lot of us spend more time thinking about what we're going to put on our bodies than what we put in it Mm -hmm. and that's why we that's why our our grocery focuses on certified organic produce and organic foods and non-gmo foods because what you put into your body is very, very important. Mm-hmm. Well, the same thing's true with uh, herbal products and these other uh, uh, vitamins and, and products that we have at Nature's Way. Because you want to have quality. You want to stay away from, from dyes and colors and things and sweeteners and mm-hmm. uh, things that make it, uh, make it harder on your body. And so Nature's Way and Ruth Ann and, and I work very hard on finding the kind of quality that will provide that service to you when you come in as a customer. So anyway, we've got some new lines, and there's a couple other neat things that are happening at Nature's Way. How much time have I got right here? Oh, I'll give you a minute and a half. Okay. We, break. Uh, we just finished a, a, a great promotion, and, and when you get, if you watch our website, you'll find out more about these things as they come up. But we just finished the Take a Take a Hike event, 
uh, Jake Anderson, who is um, a manager in the store, uh, is also an elite athlete, and he's a trail runner. I think I brought him here one time, you you, and you met him. Really good and program. he he uh, he's a bright, bright young guy. Master's master's degree in exercise science. He is he is uh, really really. Uh, well informed, especially when it comes to to sports nutrition and helping people get started on on exercise regimens. But anyway, he had come up with this idea. Why don't we, you know, we've got these great, beautiful trails around here. Why don't we take some people out on some hikes and I'll set them up and we'll, we'll learn about some of the new trails and and have a little fun at the same time. And we've we've done that. Uh, we've had three uh, take a hike programs, different trails around. And it has just been the best time ever. We've seen new things. Uh, Jake has Jake lays out a trail uh, on the trails that we have around here in Mountain Home and, and in Baxter County. Uh, he puts out little flags so we can't get lost. He guides the trails uh, so that uh, everybody goes at the that same time. Fun. And it was it was really nice. We had some great weather and we had some great times with the folks that came along. So that was just one of the events that that. Uh, that we just finished at Nature's Way. And so if you watch our website and, and get on our newsletter, particularly with the newsletter, you'll be able to keep up with those. Visiting with Jack Clayton and Nature's Way, the health food store in the scare, square. I'll learn to talk one of these days. I've been working on it all week long. <laughs> Go to natureswaymountainhome.com. Time for the handy update. Be right back. 754, right back with Jack Clayton, Nature's Way, the health food store on the square. You know, we've got Mother's Day coming up. We do. It's on the 10th of May, and uh, folks should come by the Red Room. I, oh, I wanted to bring you this, Sam. I'm, I'm taking this back. I don't blame you. Uh, That's this gorgeous. Is one of the, what's one of the new beautiful baskets we've got in Look the Look at the tight the weave room. on that. Right. These are handmade the and fair trade. The money goes back to uh, 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 the farmers who actually do this over in Africa. These are beautiful baskets. We've got a whole bunch of these in the store. So come on down and and. and they, they, that's just a part of it. We've, we've added some new things to the Red Room at Nature's Way. So if you would like a, a gift this year, uh, reasonably priced, that's going to give lasting memories, you should come check out the Red Room. There's going to be some beautiful, there are beautiful things in there, both locally made and, and, and products from around the world as well. Uh, Ruth Ann's added some neat new things in the, into the Red Room, and uh, I would highly encourage people to come and think about that for Mother's Day. So... Uh, a lasting memory, something that she can use and, and something she can have some fun with over the next several years. Uh, excellent qualities, locally made and from around the world as well in the Red Room at Nature's Way. And I've got another about a minute left, I think. A minute left, yeah. Um, Nature's Way is a proud, proudly helps to sponsor with the uh, Art Odyssey as well. Oh, good. And yeah. you know the Art Odyssey is coming up May 14th, 15th, and 16th. Good. And we I have – we were uh, – very happy to be uh, have a chance to to host an artist in the in the store, a young man named Chris Royer, and uh, he does he does I can't really describe it as is a form of jewelry that he uses uh, semi precious stones and metals, uh, just beautiful things, very artistic, very beautiful. Uh, so, uh, you know, folks need to take this tour. It's a great yeah, mountain home event. It is May fourteenth, fifteenth, and sixteenth. Stop by Nature's Way. The uh, there will be a, another artist right in the next building to us, so it's two. It's you can get two birds with one stone and down, by stopping downtown and seeing us. Come in and see Chris Royer and Kevin Peeper will be there too. I think on Saturday uh, because it, because we put his art up on the wall in the I grocery, that. and that yeah. is something you really need to what come a great and see. Photographer, he does so, a great job. So He's May fifth, chickens on May fifth. May get you get, come in and get your chickens on May fifth. Get your Mother's Day presents for May tenth. Come take the Art Odyssey tour and stop by the store. Meet Chris Royer. He's a brilliant young artist, young man from Mountain Home, just a great young guy. And uh, you'll have some fun. See the art that Kevin has allowed us to use on the walls at Nature's Way. You'll be pleased you did. Nature's Way, the health food store in the square. We want to invite everybody to stop by. Check them out online, naturewaymountainhome.com. It's time for the Rush Morning Update, followed by Glenn Beck. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.